The BBMT platform has a complex customer relationship management system that is by customer. And what I mean by that is that a broker has a complex relationship on two sides. On one side, he has the sellers and the landlord to deal with and keep a relationship going. And he also has the buyers and the tenants side to keep the relationships going there and make sure that the broker is uh, on top of these buyers and tenants. For example, on the BBMT platform, there is automatic emails that are sent to agents to alert them that uh, buyers are viewing uh, their listings. There is a task management system that allows the agent to set up a task and receive an email to alert them as to when the follow up with a particular buyer or tenant. And finally, there's also a automatic email that is received by the agent that tells them that the buyer or the tenant failed to visit the website. And uh, this system sort of keeps the agents on top of the buyer transaction or the tenant transaction. And over here on the seller side of the equation, they have a buyer and tenor, tenant alerts that has the history of the communications between the agent and the particular buyer that communicates it to the seller. There's status updates on a weekly basis, monthly or quarterly, depending on how the broker wants to set that up. And those status updates have key information that uh, provide uh, the seller and the landlord with activity that you're doing on the particular listing. And also the system generates an email that goes out to both the agent and the seller or the landlord that the listing is about to expire and uh, in, in encouraging him to renew it. Now let me give you a demo of uh, the email alert systems that are going out there. First of all, the BBMT system will send out an email such as this one that will go out to the, cust go out to the agent that says, Andy Mine inquired about City Market Deli 24 hours ago and has not visited or registered to the website. You should call this buyer immediately at this particular number and so on. So it kind of keeps the agent honest and on top of the buyers who are not coming to the website. Our system monitors these people because the emails are included in our database. So it monitors whether or not they came to the website. So here the agent can email the member by selecting that and send an email that to that member or the agent can view the member's file and take a look at it and make a call. So this agent, this particular member hasn't visited the website. It says confirm account, no. So they haven't visited the website. So it's the agent's job to follow up and do that. Okay. The next document that we have here is um, a buyer. This particular buyer viewed the pizza restaurant seven times, this 4112 seven times, and it notifies him to call the buyer up to have a conversation. So the agent again would view the member file, just as we do here. They would make the phone call to the buyer and have a conversation with them, just as this agent had here. And then in order to alert the seller or the tenant or the landlord, I'm sorry, that they've contacted a buyer or a tenant, you save the note. Then as part of the note, you can see the history is down there now. It's permanently and it's documented with the date and timestamp and whether or not it was emailed to the client, which this one was. Then if the agent has to follow up with this particular individual, say they can write a note, follow up on Gigi's interest in, it happens to be called uh, Cheeseheads Pizza. And uh, the reminder, five minutes before the due date, and uh, we will send an email out to us. And I wanna do this for, let's say the 13th, and I wanna get that email in the morning. So you're gonna go in here, I'm gonna say 9 a.m. On the 13th, I will receive an email that alerts me that 
um, I am to follow up and call Gigi on her interest in pizza, in the Cheeseheads Pizza, to make sure that they came to the site and they went out there and saw it. Okay. Finally, uh, another thing that we do for our agents is give you a history of the activity between a buyer and the agent. So this is a document or an automatic email that went out to the client. I've contacted another buyer for your business. And it says, I just made an attempt to contact with Tao, who shows an interest in Thai Peru restaurant. Here are my notes. And it kind of goes through the notes. And then it also gives the history of any conversations that have taken place with Thai or Tao with the dates behind it, with each one of the inquiries. So the client gets a feel for what's going on with this particular customer. And finally, the weekly activity report that the client gets, that would be the, the seller or the landlord would get. And this particular listing, he would get this, and it tells them how many views they received this week, how many so views they received inception the date, the number of confidential agreements so far signed, how many buyers were contacted last week and since the inception of the date, and how many third-party inquiries such as biz by sell and business of for sale inquiries have they received so far. So that's the way that our CRM operates to try to keep the brokers um, um, honest with their clients, the sellers, and with the buyers. Uh, and the tenants.